Alright everyone, I thought I would do a bit of a different video today and look at this fidget cube which I bought last week. Um, it's a bit of a random object, I'll have a look. It's, uh, I'll open it up and show you. I, I saw this on Jim Sterling's channel and um, I've been looking out for one and I, I just noticed in uh, there's a puzzle shop by me that sells all like Rubik's Cubes and things and I noticed that they had them in and I thought oh, yeah, I might give this a go. It was about six or seven quid, which is a little bit expensive for the size of it, but I don't know. It's um, yeah, I saw um, Jim Sterling talking about it on his YouTube channel. He he said it was a can be used as a tool for people with anxiety. If um, you know, I, I know with me in social situations, I sometimes have trouble thinking of you know tr trouble like knowing what to do with my hands. You know what I mean? Like put them in my pockets, fold my hands, or I just end up sort of twitching a bit or resorting to smoking cigarettes which is usually my my go-to of uh, social situations so I have had, a, had this out the box and I've been carrying it around in my pocket all weekend um, so I just put it back in the box for the sake of the video so this is it um, yeah the, the grey black version And it actually doesn't do doesn't do anything really. It's got no no actual function. None of these things do anything. But um, they're just something to fidget with your hands. You know, something to do. You can there's a, a switch there. There's um, I don't know what these are called. Rollers, I guess, and they they make a nice kind of clicking noise and. It's kind of satisfying. A lot of these things, it's just kind of like the resistance of them. It's, it's, it's a, a satisfying feeling, really. And uh, there's a ball bearing there which rolls in multiple directions. Uh, there's one of these which is, it's like a a joypad, you know, the analog stick on a joypad. That feels feels okay. There's buttons which press him. There's a, like this bit is a bit, it's just kind of a little groove which you can, it's supposed to be, I'll get the leaflet out actually because this it, it, the leaflet explains what each bit is and uh, I'll read it out. I'll show you all the other sides as well. It says Fidget Cube is a desk toy for anyone who likes to fidget. How to use? It's simple. Fidget Cube has six sides. Each side features something to fidget with. Apparently it's covered by a three month warranty. But I don't know how I would claim that warranty. Um, so here we go. So yeah, here we go. This this is this is called the breathe side. Say goodbye to stress. The design of this face is inspired by traditional worry stones, tools used to reduce anxiety when rubbed. Uh, I don't really. Yeah, it's okay that one. It's it does feel quite nice and smooth but I think they kind of copped out. I think they could have put another thing on this side. I don't know what. Um, roll, that's the gears. The gears on the on ball on this side are all about rolling movements. Oh, that's that one. With the ball, with the ball sporting a built-in click feature. That's no, that doesn't work. It doesn't doesn't. I've actually noticed with some of these descriptions, they don't actually match what the actual thing is. Like that doesn't click in at all, and I feel like if I did try and push it in, I'd, I'd break it. So that's a lot of bollocks. It doesn't have a click feature. Um, spin. That's this one's quite good. Where's spin? Right here. As you can see, it's a little nub, and you can just sort of roll it round in your hand. It says looking for. A Looking for a circular fidget, take the dial for a spin. Um, here's another one which is not true. It says, click. No need to click that pen anymore. You'll find three clicker buttons and two silenced buttons on this side designed to satisfy, to satisfy the clicker in each of us. Now, I don't know if you can hear, but it says there should be three clicking buttons and two silent ones. None of these are silent. They all make the, the noise. And the middle one is slightly quieter than the others, but it, it still clicks. 
Um, it would be good to have some silent one because you walk it around and you've got things in your pocket and you kind of, you know, I have the one this in my coat pocket. I've got my hand in my pocket and you don't want to be making a random clicking noise as you're walking around. <laughs> uh, oh, glide is the analog stick. You don't have to be a gamer to enjoy the unusually satisfying gliding action of this joystick. And uh, flip. Pivot the switch back and forth gently if you're looking to fidget silently or quickly for a more audible click so yeah you can click it like that for a noise and you can like if you just put it like halfway in between oh, hold on. you can kind of just sort of roll it back and forth which kind of gives you that another satisfying resistance feeling um yeah it's it's it's, it's okay actually I've, I've been walking around i was in a shopping center it's so busy i just couldn't stand it but you know i was shopping with my parents and the mother-in-law and the wife and I just oh god I'm going off to do my own thing and this you know this was give me something to do with my hands at the time you know so um, it is pretty good for that, those sort of situations it's just something to you know while away the time if you're bored and um, uh, I don't know I, th I think some bits of it feel a bit cheap that's the only thing I don't know like this feels like it might a bit wobbly, even though I know it's meant to be wobbly, but um, this I'd like if it had a bit of a, like a more of a resistance, it just sort of slides about. Um, but it feels okay. This the ball is a bit stiff as well, like that. That you know, it could be like smoother, but it feels okay. It was, it was about I think it was about six ninety nine, which may be a bit expensive. But it's a fun little thing. It's a completely pointless object, you know, absolutely no function whatsoever to any of these things, and I quite like that about it actually. Um, yeah, they could have done something else with this side, you know. But other than that, it's, I don't know, I quite enjoy it. It's okay, it's pretty good. Um, I'm not sure, another thing is, when I first heard about these, I looked online, and there's like a million like rip off versions and I never know wh whether which is the official like the first person to invent the fidget cube and bring one out and then a load of other people copied the design and just brought out their own version so I'm not sure whether this is an official or whether it's a rip off but um, you know I just saw it in a shop and I thought I'll give it a go yeah it's quite pretty pretty satisfying honestly I think when uh, when you're walking around, I think like in public and things, these were my, these were my favourite ones, the the analog stick and the the roller because they you know they they're kind of quiet and uh, yeah. and don't carry them in in your trouser pocket. That will fucking that look weird walking around fidgeting in your trouser pocket, you know, I had it in a coat pocket, it didn't look quite as strange me walking around sort of doing that kind of thing in my pocket. <laughs> so, this this middle roll has suddenly just stopped, like, what did, like, see what I said about it being a bit sort of, you know, this middle roll has stopped clicking all of a sudden, I think I might have just pushed it in a bit too far. Mm, that's a bit disappointing, I kind of broke it already. Uh, maybe I should claim on my warranty. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure at the start of this video that was clicking. I'm sure you can go back and see. I'm kind of broken already. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, there we go. There's a uh, fidget cube. It's a thing. Thanks for watching.